Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Micah Let's Plays, and guess who I am? I'm Micah, because it's the only person I can be. Guys, today on the show, we're going to be talking about the PS5 reveal, some of the games that personally interest me, oh, really only the games that interest me, and some more, and I'll give you my overall thoughts. But before I jump into all that juiciness, enjoy this intro. I made it just for you. Wink. Now loading Micah's Let's Play. I know. I shouldn't have. But guys, let's talk about the PS5 reveal, all the games that came out with it. Now, just so you guys know, I would have done a live stream myself, but unfortunately, my little laptop there can't handle the stream, so I didn't do it. But what I did do is that I jumped on my boy Jody's Corner. I would watched his live stream with him and his friend, and I watched the entire stream with them. I was in the chat. We were chatting it up. So I'll have a link to Jody's uh, channel in the video description. Go check him out. His reactions were very similar to mine. Like his thought process was very similar to mine. And I kind of agreed with him on a lot of the stuff that we saw. But I still, you know, this is my review, so not Jody's. But still, go check out his channel. Jody's awesome. Okay, so first, let's talk about the PS5 and its reveal. I gotta say, the PS5 was very beautifully designed. I really like it. I like the color scheme of white, blue, and black. Really nice design. It looked very futuristic. And... We're going to talk about the memes, but the memes that came out after the game was released are hilarious, so we'll touch on that in just a second. But what I wanted to know was, do they come in other colors? And I so happened to see a Miles Morales version of the PS5, which was black and red. And honestly, I want that copy, because that black and red look, looked awesome. Red's my favorite color. Black is everything. So yes to that and to all of that goodness. Now let's talk about those memes really quickly. I saw everything from Chronica from uh, Mortal Kombat 11 to a Yu-Gi-Oh character, a girl bent over. My favorite one was the zip purse and the controller is like uh, the zipper. I thought these memes were so hilarious and whoever came up with them to let's talk awesome. about the PS5 reveal again I really like the design as Jody said it looks very uh, futuristic and I agree with him because that's his wording on that also I like the fact that it comes with a headset it has two controllers it has a controller docking station so to me I really like it, even though there are two different versions, but I'm just going to go with the PS5 version because, again, that's more me. It's more what I would purchase. The only thing that ain't cute about the PS5 is that damn price tag. It is literally starting at $6.99. The funny thing is, on Twitter, I had put out that the thing was going to be $700 because a lot of people were like, ooh, that price, but I, people were wondering how much it was going to cost, and I said it's going to be $700. So the moment they dropped that price, I said, I told you, $700. That thing costs more than my car note, and even though it's a one-time purchase, but still, it's more than my car note, and that's insane. But again, PlayStation put a lot of hardware and software into this uh, into these PlayStations, so I guess, you know, their company, they need to make money. It's just unfortunately it's it's ours so you be the judge now let's move on from the ps5 and let's talk about the games first and foremost there were a lot of games that were shown at this presentation i'm going to be honest with you i was a little underwhelmed with the games that they showed um one thing one of my major pet peeves is that there were no fighting games of any kind and i was like what no fighting games i mean they could have showed street fighter they could have shown snk they could have showed something but there were no fighting games. I would have been so happy to see a Marvel vs. Capcom game or something. Though Capcom was there, they didn't have any games, like fighting games to show off. So, oh well. But now, let's talk about the games that I really liked. And I'm going to, I'm categorizing these games or putting them in a specific category based on my level of excitement when I first saw them. So, let's talk about the first game. The first game that I showed, uh, that I was kind of excited about was Ratchet and Clank. I'm going to be honest with you, 
I've never played all of the games. I played them when I was much, much younger, and I played like Ratchet 1 and Ratchet 2. I think there was a third one, but I'm not too sure. Um, I really liked what I saw, and I like the technique that uh, PlayStation did when they were showing uh, Ratchet fall through the circles, like falling through the holes. And I liked how they did it because basically they were showing how fast the game loads. And I'm like, I see you, PlayStation. I see you trying to show off that load time. But one drawback was on the stream, it got a little the it got a little fuzzy the image got a little fuzzy because it's in 4k it's in such high resolution but and that's again that goes to show that for streaming the ps5 i don't know on a computer but on a television i'm pretty sure it'll look great but from what i saw i was like hmm this is why i'm sticking with just a playstation <laughs> and but again ratchet and clank i really really liked it i thought the game looked good and another thing i think that they gender bent one of the characters because i saw a girl version the thing that i found really funny were all the memes after the character got gender bent and some of them shocked me with the level of furry art that i saw so again type ratchet and clank and you'll see and it, you've been warned how about that so now let's talk about the next game which was hitman omg i'm gonna be honest with you i've never been a fan of the game hitman i've always thought the game was cool with agent 47 doing his thing i remember the movies that came out the first movie it was a movie and the second movie i honestly don't remember it it was just that blah but what I can say, this new Hitman actually looked really good. I really liked it. I thought the presentation was well done. Now, mind you, the graphics were not mind-blowing. They didn't change my life. But I did like what I saw, especially when you were inside the building and you saw the golden spire, like the tower. It made me feel like I was in a Marvel movie, and I really, really liked what I saw when it came to Hitman. So I may or may not purchase, but I did like what I saw. Now let's move on to the third game, which is Demon Souls. Oh my god, I got such vibes from Dark Souls when I was watching it. And with Demon Souls, the moment I saw the man being carried by a dragon, I was like, I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Sign me up. I'm ready to go. Here's all my money. And I like what I was saying because it reminded me a little bit of Final Fantasy mixed with Dark Souls. I mean, with, uh, with, yeah, with Dark Souls. And Demon Souls looks like a really unique game. I'm excited about it. I'm here for it. I want to know more about the story and I want to know more about this world. So, uh, again, I'm not too familiar with this, uh, story. So if it's like a new one, if it's a remake, not really sure. But what I see, I really like. And just as a side note, I've never actually played a Dark Souls game. I have seen all of the Let's Plays and I do understand the story and I do like the story. But this may be the first time I actually buy a game, uh, within, I guess that's within the same universe. I'm not too sure. But if you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's talk about another game that I was super excited about. The next thing I was, the next game I was super excited about was Kenna. Oh my God, Kenna the uh, uh, Spirit Bridge was such a beautiful game. It looked like Kuno and the Two Strings. I don't know, was it just me? Because that's what it looked like. Um, from the moment you see it starting where you see Kenna is sitting there, I think her name is Kenna, uh, sitting there and she's meditating. You hear the dark, ominous voice saying, I know your weakness. And then you start seeing her run around. You see the little cute guys with the backpacks and you see the little furry animals with their big eyes. Again, it's cutesy cutesy. I love it. I'm into those kind of games. When it comes to magic and elves and forests and fairies i'm here for it if i was a mythological creature i would either be an elf or a fairy let's just be honest i just thought that game was so beautiful and one of the things i was really impressed with was her staff again at first i thought it was just like a wand and she was only a magic user but the fact that she can take that same staff and make it a, a bow and arrow she can use powers with it make a projectile but then she can use it as an offensive weapon and attack with it and i think like the little tip had a spear to it i really liked it i thought it was unique creative again i'm here for it i'm so excited i just want to see more of the story but for right now i'm totally in so check out that game i can't wait to see it drop so let's talk about the next game i was excited about resident evil 8 
Let me be honest with you, when I first saw the trailer, I didn't know what this game was. I just saw Forrest, and then I heard this woman telling a story, and then this man saying, oh, you like telling this story, and she's like, oh, yes, it's a bedtime story. Oh, it's just a fairy tale or whatever. Honestly, I was not interested. I was like, oh, God, and I even put in uh, Jody's chat, like, all the snores, because I was, I didn't know what it was, and it did, it just didn't appeal to me, but then I started seeing the monsters, and I was like, okay, it's got my attention. What got my attention is when we saw everyone's sexiest star member, Mr. Chris Redfield. And he was popping caps in the lady's head. And he was like, sorry, I'm late, Ethan. And I was like, Resident Evil 8? Are you serious? And so I was like, okay, I'm being too harsh. Let me re-watch the trailer. And when I did, I got massive Resident Evil 4 vibes. Like, I don't know. I was expecting guys to be like, go ahead, low, go ahead, low. As they running around. And I was just like, okay, I'm being too harsh on this. I really began to like what I saw, especially like the wolf looking man thing that popped up in the trailer. But here's the massive caveat. It's in first person. And for those of you who don't know, I can't do first person because I get massive motion sickness. Now, I can watch someone do first person, but actually playing it myself, having the camera swivel around, I... I just can't handle it. I can watch someone do it, and I would say maybe 20 minutes top, so I have to watch it in chunks. I might have my wife play the game. Would you guys like to see a Let's Play with Christina? You know, let me know in the comment sections down below. Huh? Huh? Oh well. But again, Resident Evil 8, I'm a huge fan of this franchise. If you guys haven't realized, I have a Let's Play going on right now of the remake of Resident Evil 2, and my Resident Evil 3 remake is actually coming out very soon. But stay tuned for that. But again, Resident Evil 8, I'm here for it. I really like it. And I did see Resident Evil 7's Let's Play. I did watch it all the way through. Um, and I do like the story. I do understand the story. But it wasn't their best game. And I'm excited to see Chris return. And I'm so happy that they, they gave Chris back his regular face. The regular handsome face we're all used to seeing. Because that guy in Resident Evil 7, I mean, he called himself Chris. But... Let's be honest, that wasn't Chris. That was some weird stand-in. But again, super excited for Resident Evil 8. Um, I can't wait to see someone else do the Let's Play because I don't think I'm going to purchase. Uh, again, I might have my wife do it, and you guys can watch her lovely face as she plays the game. But for me, right now, Resident Evil uh, 8, it's, I'm excited, but it's just that one annoying setback. Now, here's the other game I'm super excited about seeing, which is Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, my glob. Let me be honest with you. That was literally one of the best. Uh, game trailers we saw. I was very immersed. I liked what I was seeing. I saw the first Let's Play of it. I have never played the first um, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I have seen the second one, and I'm here for it. I liked how you saw the little fungus thing, like, growing, and it looks like it was killing everything, so I'm very interested with how the story is going to unfold with our heroine. I loved how you saw the big elephant thing, and you see her pull out her bow and arrow, and again, I'm a fan of bow and arrows, so I really liked what I saw. I was very impressed with it. It was one of the most beautiful games that was there that was shown at the PlayStation reveal. So again, two thumbs up for Horizon Zero Dawn. Again, I really, really, really liked it. Now the game I'm so excited about, like that really had me, it had me hooked the moment the PS5 reveal began, was Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh my god, let me tell you. First and foremost, I was already intrigued when I saw his outfit like burning away and then you saw him scream and I was like, oh my god, is that Miles Morales Spider-Man? Now, just so you guys know, I am a fan of Miles Morales Spider-Man. I've never been a fan of Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Always thought their character was fantastic, but as a Marvel fan, I've never found Spider-Man Peter Parker that interesting, but Miles Morales is right up my alley. And again... It's nothing wrong with liking Peter Parker. Of course, he was there first. He's the original Spider-Man. But for me, my Spider-Man is Miles. Just gotta say. And then that PS5 with the red and black with Miles Morales' colors. I am so here for it. But again, that game had my attention the most. I really liked what I was seeing. Now, I haven't read a lot of Miles Morales comics. So the villain I saw with the sword that came down. I don't know who that was. If you guys do, can you let me know in the comment section? 
But I really like what I saw. I was very impressed with the game's presentation, its design. I love seeing him jump off the police car. I mean, such a good looking game. I'm so here for it. That'll literally probably be the first purchase with the PS5. I'm just saying. I really liked what I saw. I was totally blown away. Now, here are some honorable mentions that I, of games that I have my eye on, but I'm not too interested in. I need to see more to really say, okay, I, maybe I'll buy in the future. But some of them come with massive caveats. First game I want to mention is the Capcom game that I saw where the guy in the metal suit and he's walking around and he's looking for the little girl. The little girl was absolutely adorable. She's so cute. Here's the only problem. I don't like babysitting games. That's not really something that appeals to me personally. I mean, she looked like she might be uber powerful. And I may change my opinion when I see more of the game. But what it looks like, like we were just getting cutscenes from it. And again, this is a game by Capcom. I do like Capcom as a company. Um, and I do support a lot of the, uh, their games. A lot of the games that I own are from Capcom. But this game hasn't pulled me in yet. Graphics? Excellent. Little girl, utterly adorable. But again, not really my cup of tea, but I have my eye out for that one. The next game that I saw that I was interested in was Ghostwire. It looked very interesting. It looked like it was in Tokyo. I love Japan. I love Japanese style. And I thought it was very interesting. Huge caveat. It's in first person. All of the monsters look interesting. Had it not been in first person, honestly, that would have been another one of my top picks because it looks really good. So I have my eye on it, but at the same time, because it's in first person, I know I'm not going to purchase, but I do like it. I may watch a let's play of it. So there's that. Yeah. Now the other game that I was super interested in was the game called Death Loop. That looked fantastic. I liked how you could shoot and move your enemies, either that was technology or telekinesis. But either way, the game looked interesting. And it starred a black pro uh, protagonist, and you had this other hot black girl shooting him, so it looked like she kills him over and over. So for me, I was so here for it. I really liked it. But again, the caveat was that it's in first person. And y'all already know, I can't do that. I can't rock with y'all first person players. But the game looked really good. The story seemed interesting. Thing. Um, it kind of remind me of Looper of uh, that movie, but I just wanted to see it, you know, and again, it was a black protagonist. So, you know, black power. I'm so here for it. But again, that was the only caveat and I was kind of upset about it, but it is what it is. Then there were some other games that I noticed, but again, don't have my interest. There was Ash, um, uh, Solar Ash. That looks pretty good. I got my eye on it, but I got to see more. Then of course, Odd World. I was surprised to see that come back because that's a really old game that they brought back. So again, two thumbs up for Odd World, but not a purchase I'm going to make. Then there was Sackboy. And again, I've never been a fan of that franchise. I just always know that was a character that was from the PlayStation. But again, it was interesting to see these games return. But again, not going to be any purchases that I make from my honorable mission section. But again, overall, the games that I mentioned, I really like. I I would like to purchase some of them. Um, but again, I got to see how some of this stuff play out. But again, one of the biggest setbacks was Resident Evil 8. Because again, I'm a huge RE fan. I just wish they would have did the over the shoulder. It would have been nice to see Ethan um, realize in full 3D like that. Like Claire and um, Claire and Leon and uh, Jill. And again, that style is very popular. And a lot of people liked it for Resident Evil. So why didn't you just do the same thing? But again, I understand they want to do a first person. But I'm just not here for it, sadly. Now I'm going to give you my final thoughts and feelings on how I felt about the PlayStation 5 reveal and the games that I mentioned, or the games overall. Now, the PlayStation 5, I'm going to be honest with you, the reveal was excellent. I really like it. I give it an A plus because I think that PlayStation really put their best foot forward when they showed off their system. Um, and especially knowing all the little features and it has all the little bells and whistles. So for me personally, I'm here for it. Then when it came to the games, honestly, I'm going to give it a B minus. A lot of the games were not very impressive. I'm just going to be honest. Not that they're bad games. It's just that they weren't impressive and they didn't appeal to me as a player. But the ones that I did mention, I do like. 
except for the whole Resident Evil 8 thing, but that's neither here nor there. Now, when it comes to the Microsoft presentation, I saw it again, wasn't impressed, and I think they used a third party, and I don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. And again, I'm not really a PlayStation only or an Xbox only person. I'm just a person that like what I like, and if something looks good, then I'm going to go after what I think I'm going to have the most fun with. Not that I'm a a label person i just really don't care because in the past i've owned xboxes and in the past i've owned a lot of sega products and in the past i've had nintendo products so again i'm not a specific console person i just like what i like but again, overall, I thought the presentation for PlayStation uh, reveal was really good. I really like it. I just want to see more. I can't wait for the PS5 to come out this um, holiday season. So I'll be first in line to buy. And again, I'm getting my Miles Morales black and red. That right there was just utter fire. And the games that came out, the ones that I mentioned, those are the ones I'll be definitely looking to purchase right away. But what do you guys think? Did you like the PS5 reveal? Um, are there any games that I mentioned that you uh, that you agree or disagree with? Or are there some games that you wished I would have talked about that I didn't talk about? Sound off in the comment section down below. Now, as I wrap this video up, guys, do me a huge favor. If you enjoyed any of this content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and again, leave me a comment because I want to hear from you. The other thing I want you guys to do is to wash your hands, make good choices, remember choose love over fear, black lives matter, I'm gonna see you on the flip side, so bye!